Hello, thank you for joining us today. This is Mandy Dennis. I am an account manager here at Remind, and we are going to be looking at how to create a safe search. You start by logging into your Remind application and selecting search from your left hand side menu. From there, you will notice that there is a listing and a properties toggle. If you wish to search by listings, this includes information from your MLS. For example, if a property has been listed more than once in your MLS, a property card will appear for as many times as that property has been listed within your MLS. The properties toggle is primarily going to be searching from public record data. On this search, you will notice there is only one property card per property. For today and for this purpose, we are going to be using the listing toggle, since this is what most agents would be using to create a safe search for their client, because this is MLS data. I'm going to start in the top search box. In this box, I can type in a place such as an address, a zip code, or a neighborhood. But for today's purpose, I'm going to enter a zip code for Baltimore, Maryland. I will select my zip code down at the bottom, 21209. And from here, I can continue to narrow down the criteria for my search. In order to do this, I'm going to add filter. And from filter, I can choose from things such as status. So for today's search, I'm going to choose the coming soon status. And also, I am going to decide to also search by bedrooms. going to go from two to four. And if you notice on certain search fields, you will have an option of selecting different operators. For this one, my search is equal to properties that contain between two and four bedrooms. If I do not want to search between that particular range, I could always click on this button and choose not equal. If you will notice with the criteria that I entered of my zip code, the status of coming soon, and the number of beds between bedrooms between two and four, my search results are five. If I am satisfied with the criteria that I have entered, I'm going to click the Save Search button in the top right hand corner. From here, I can name my safe search. And then in order to share with one of my contacts, I can start typing in the name of the contact. And also, I can click this button if I want to also include myself to receive the emails as well as my client. I'm going to hit Save Search. And then from here, my search should have been saved. In order to view any of my saved searches, I may go over to the left hand side menu under Save Searches. And from here, this is where I'm going to see a history of any searches that I have saved. If you notice, there is the new save search that we just did, new buyer in Maryland. From here, I can make some edits to my search if I would like. This is where I can select how frequent myself and my client receives emails. 
So if I would like for them to get an email as soon as possible, when something comes on the market matching their criteria, I could choose and make this ASAP or either daily, weekly, or for them never to receive an email. I may also go here and edit and remove any contacts who is currently receiving the emails. I can choose to turn myself off for receiving the emails. And I also can edit the search that I have created for my client. Or if I'm, this search is no longer needed, I can also delete it. So that is how you create a safe search in Remo. Thank you so much. If you have any additional questions, you may always email training at remind.com. Thank you.